Bighorn National Forest, located in northeastern Wyoming, is the digital nomads or full-time traveler's dream come true. Boasting of beautiful mountain ranges, rugged trails for hiking, biking, or ORV travel, and crystal clear lakes, you'll want to add this to your list of travel destinations. Let me show you why. Number one, everything that I'm going to mention is down in the show notes, so definitely check those out for the resources. The map that I'm using is fully downloadable, so check that out. Everything is here in Bighorn, and I'm gonna make it really easy for you guys to find your way around. So, let's get into it. No. Alright guys, so let's jump right into it. Where to stay in cell phone coverage. So, I got two spots for you here. And the difference between the two is this one over here, number one, is gonna have awesome service for you. Site number two, not gonna have service for you. So site number one is a grassy hilltop and uh, you're gonna see it right here on the left-hand side as you come up uh, Highway 16. And it's a really nice spot. There's gonna be quite a few other people that are gonna be staying here, but there is a lot of room here to spread out and uh, not bug each other. Also, if you meet people, it's very easy to pull up next to each other. So this is gonna be a great spot if you're needing to work and need cell coverage. And um, this is still pretty remote and you're gonna have a great view of the mountains here. So we really like this spot. We stayed here the whole time. Site number two, you're gonna have no cell coverage but it's gonna be a little bit more private. You're gonna be able to tuck yourself away in the woods and also you're gonna have direct access to both hiking trails and ORV trails. So if you're planning on doing a lot of hiking, ORVing, mountain biking, site number two is a great spot as long as you're not dependent on cell phone coverage. All right guys, so hiking and mountain biking. Right here off site number one, there's not a whole lot around here, but right here, is gonna be Grouse Mountain, and there is a small hiking trail that leads right from the, this campsite right up to Grouse Mountain, which is a fun little hike, and if you're camped here, I would encourage you to go do that. If you're looking for rare, more serious hiking and mountain biking, over in this little valley area is a bunch of trailheads, and I'm gonna encourage you guys, jump on all trails and find what's gonna be uh, you know, your desired level of difficulty. If you're looking for serious mountain hiking, the Cloud Peaks Wilderness has some very legit hiking and very legit mountains, uh, if you're up for it. This is some of the most remote hiking that I have ever done. Um, it's a pretty far distance because the trailheads are a long way. You can see from Cloud Peak, you know, over here to the road, the, uh, the road goes in a little ways, but it gets rocky really quick. So you're gonna have to hike a long ways, but guys, it is definitely worth it. Over here, uh, depending on what you're looking for as far as mountain biking. I have these marked for ORV, but they would always also work for mountain biking. And this one is going to be a little bit uh, more rocky and technical. If you uh, are looking for some more wide open spaces, I would encourage you to go to site number one here. And uh, you'll find some very nice hiking, very beautiful rock formations, a lot more open. As far as mountain biking goes, you're going to find some great stuff. Alright guys, so shopping and groceries while staying at Bighorn. So if you're right here, the town of Buffalo is gonna be about a 15 minute drive or so from this spot. And down in here, there's DJ's Grocery Store. There's a couple of others. They're gonna have all the shopping you could possibly need. Uh, good grocery stores, there's some auto parts stores. Really the town of Buffalo is gonna have everything you need if you need out outdoors gear, they have it. Um, the downtown area here in Buffalo is really, really cute. I really encourage you to go check that out. They have some really cool statues and stuff. It's definitely, you can definitely spend like a, a half a day there, grab some food, walk around, grab a coffee. There's some fun stuff. So I would encourage you to check out the town of Buffalo. They will have whatever you need. And everybody that we met in Buffalo, really, really nice people for, uh, for whatever reason. People in Wyoming are just really nice and uh, Buffalo is no exception to that. All right guys, so pot water potable or potable water, however you wanna say that. If you are staying at either one of these two sites, this is maybe a 20 to 25 minute drive from these two sites, is this station. And it's maintained by the Forest Service. It's got three 
different bays for dumping and it has potable water and dump stations and it's run by donation only so if you go fill up there um, really easy to get into for any type of rig but also leave them a donation because uh, it's one of the nicest sites I've ever been to for potable water in water sports this area either of these two sites you're gonna have really really close access to tie back or a, I think this is yeah, Thai Hack Lake, I don't know, Thai Hack Reservoir South, I don't know, I, I'm not really even sure what they call it, looks like it has a couple of names here. But uh, this is a nice little lake if you want to get your paddleboard out here, you're doing some fishing or, you know, swimming, this is really easy access. Um, I'm going to say this is about 15, 10 to 15 minutes from uh, your first site and it is right, right across the road from your second site. So do not be afraid, go check this out. If you're looking to spend a day on the water, I would, no matter what, tell you to go to Lake Desmet. This lake is fantastic, guys. I can't even express to you how nice this lake is. Very, very clear, very clean. You're able to pull right up on the beach here, right up to the water. So if you got a van or something smaller, you can pull right there and unload up, unload everything that you got right into the water and just hang out there. Really, really pretty lake. We did a bunch of uh, free diving in here, found a bunch of stuff, and honestly, we've been here. We stayed in the Bighorn area about a week, and we came to Lake Dismet almost every day. Um, right here, parking on the beach, you're going to have great AT&T and Verizon service. So if you need to work and feel like working next to the water or right on the water, check out Lake Dismet because you will not regret it. This place is awesome. One of the best features of Bighorn National Forest. If you are like us and you do not have a bathroom in your rig, if you are staying at site number one, there is no way to reach the woods uh, <laughs> to use the bathroom if you need to, to dig a cat hole. So, Thai Hack Picnic Site here has pit toilets. Um, it's about a 10 minute drive, but that's the best way if you are staying over at site number one, which we were to find quick bathrooms for the morning. So, little uh, tip for you there. All right guys, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions related to anything in this video or Bighorn National Forest, go ahead, drop a comment down below and I will get back to you. If you found today's video helpful, um, consider like, liking and subscribing, it definitely helps out. And uh, we'll catch you in the next video. Take it easy.